So I want to just talk about something that has a much different scale. And I, I guess I'll keep it personal because I, um, it's a presumptuous thing to talk about, actually. Um, and it's courage and bravery. Um, I want to be brave. I think my whole life I've wanted to be brave. But I, I don't know where to be brave. On what field would I be brave? In what realm could I be brave? How can I be a brave citizen of this earth? And that question, how can I be brave? It's like, it's like the secret, um, the DNA. It's the activist DNA. It's the, it's the magical uh, answer that passes along these movements and our movements and, and, and social change and justice and these things that we, they're not things, that, these truths that we want, these goals we have. How can I be brave? Where can I be brave? What will my courage look like? And I think I can say that we, we want to be brave. We want new ways to be brave. I know that we're not content just sending letters and, and organizing marches and doing these things. I, I, we know, all of us know we have to continue to do those things. We have to do them. We will keep doing them, but we also know it's not enough. We know we have to organize, we have to educate, and I think we're all going to keep doing that. I mean, I know that I am. I don't know what else to do, but I'll, I know that I'll do those things. But there's a, there's a little hinge that I've recently become aware of. <clears throat> and again, I'll use a, a New York City example. You know, we go into delis and we buy something, and even if it's a banana, perfect example, you'll get it wrapped in a plastic bag, and then you say, Oh, no, no, I don't need a bag. I don't need a bag. I don't need a bag. And sometimes it's actually an argument you have. I don't need a bag. It's okay. I really don't. I don't need a bag. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, the work of refusing the plastic bag, right? It's work. It's work. It's, a, it's a, an interruption of a really easy exchange, right? No, 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 no bag. No bag. It's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> I just want to say that that's an act of common sense, right? Refusing the plastic bag. But it's not an act of resistance. It's an act of common sense. Like voting is an act of common sense. Like many of these things that we do a lot are an act of common sense. Are they an act of resistance, though? And I think, um, because this is an annual event, and annual events are always a good time to sort of renegotiate your commitments and your, um, your, your, yeah, your commitments. Uh, it's a good time to do that. So I, I think all of us right now, if we just take a minute and just think about the words bravery and courage and this hinge point between what is an act of common sense and what is an act of resistance. And just drop them in your mind Put them in your bag. <laughs> Take them home with you. Because I, I just want to challenge all of you and, and ask you, and I'm challenging myself too, to, to stop confusing acts of common sense for acts of resistance. So that we can unleash um, the nonsensical, uncommon sense into our resistance. So that our resistance becomes something much wilder and much more unstable. Because I think that our courage will come when we leap into the unknown, released from our own sense of security, from our foreknowledge, our, our preemptive determinations. Our, our heroes, I know, our teachers and peace elders have jumped into that unknown. And most of them under great threat, right? At the end of rifles even, or through the gaps in prison bars, or they were forced to brave acts by hunger or displacement, and, and even if, you know, just straight up threats to their life, 
We might not have that oppositional force pushing us off the cliff into the unknown. But here, in this country, at this time, we are at the top of the food chain in a way that no one ever has been. It's a remarkable position and a very difficult position from which to be brave, from which to launch yourself into the unknown. We have our principles and our knowledge and hopefully we have our free will. And we have a community here. And I think, hopefully, we can find some way towards that bravery and courage as a, as a community, as a group of people. So I leave you with that, really. I hope that in this next year, you'll be back here next year with a sense of your own courage, a sense of your bravery that you might not have today. I wish you the best of luck. I hope I have some to share with you.